are Japanese snacks so popular all of a sudden? Maybe it's because it's suddenly trendy to like Japanese things now? Or maybe it's because Japan has some of the most different variety of snacks ever. But just because they're different doesn't mean they're good. So today, I'm going to be trying a bunch of different Japanese snacks that I picked up from a local Japanese supermarket. And then I'm going to be ranking them in accordance to my opinion. I'm also going to be trying some brand new seasonal Japanese snacks from today's sponsor, Tokyo Treat. But I'll have more on that later. I'm going to warn you now. I love my snacks and I know the difference between a good snack and a trash snack. So here's my tier list. I decided to give some fun names to the tiers, you know, because I'm quirky like that. And I hate it when I watch a tier list video with like 10 different letters and only half of them get used. So I condense it in a way that I think will make a lot more sense. All right. Let's start off with every weeb's favorite snack, Pocky. Now, even though Pocky is a really popular snack, I'm sure there's probably like one person that's watching this video that's gonna be like, what's Pocky? So I can't believe I even have to say this, but Pocky is basically a biscuit with some kind of coating and usually it can be like chocolate or strawberry. There's like a variety of Pocky flavors and variations of it. But yeah, we just got classic Pocky right here. Chocolate, if I can get it to open. Come on. You're supposed to be the first thing. Why are you being the most difficult? Mm. It's making open up already. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, and we don't just have chocolate pocky. We also have strawberry pocky as well. So let me try and both of those. But first we'll start with chocolate. You know, you can't go wrong with chocolate pocky. I think with that being said, I would place pocky on the A tier. However, the same can't be said about strawberry pocky. That's right. It is garbage. Absolute trash. I hate that nasty artificial strawberry aftertaste. Now that we got that out of the way, let's try probably the most popular snack in Japan of all time. Uh, Maui, I thought Pocky was the most- No, and you're wrong. I thought so too. But as I was doing my research, I found out that mochi is the most popular snack because it has so many different variations. It's soft and chewy texture can be filled with a variety of different fillings that anyone can enjoy. I decided I would be basic and get the red bean paste filling ones. I don't know if I should try both of them or just one of them. I have a lot of snacks to try, so I think I'm just gonna try one of them. It's squishy, I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna put mochi on the A tier because I think that you can't go wrong with this. Let's continue with another, I guess, Pocky imitation variation thing called Topo. This one claims that it is rich chocolate and crispy pretzel. So it's kind of like an inverse Pocky. Oh, we're already off to a good start. I was able to actually rip this one open. It smells okay. Oh, it's crunchy. It's really not that good, guys. Um, I'm gonna put this on a, on a D. It's not as bad as strawberry Pocky, that's for sure. Okay, I think I'm done with the Pocky copy. Oh wait, no, I'm not. We can't forget the savory cousin of Pocky, Perrette from Gilco. It has a good sauce of fiber. And this one is allegedly a baked snack stick. And I got sweet corn. I forgot how much I hate corn. Okay. Maybe it's the flavor I bought, but I think it's pretty mid. Not a huge fan of that. Or corn in general. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's go with this one because it looks like a burger and I like burgers. It's called every burger. It's burger shaped chocolatey filled cookies. I totally did not read that from the box. Why am I always struggling to open these? Like what the heck? Just open it. I don't understand. Wow, it really isn't a burger. It's like, I don't know. They kind of look exactly like fast food burgers. Although I think the one that I picked up looks kind of cursed, but it's okay. Mm, maybe this is something that I think you should try at least once. I don't know how to feel about that. Well, that was weird, but not as Where's the next one? DIY candy kits, the popping cooking. I got the donut ones because the other ones that they had that were like burgers and pizza and sushi that kind of freaked me out. I thought the donut ones might be a safer bet. It looks like I actually have to do stuff. I gotta actually follow instructions too. I don't know how to read. It's like reading lore. No one reads lore. I'm be honest with you, this is a lot of effort just to make candy, mm, but I'll do it for this video. Pull the water around depression. I then add yellow powder. Hey there, are you confused about what's going on? Well, apparently Mari was too, and she gave up midway trying to make children's candy and decided to try the candy as it is, and these were the results. Yeah, um, this one's gonna go in a little trash tier, okay? First of all, I don't like the concept of food looking like one thing and tasting like another. It really confuses me. Not only that, I already paid for the luxury of convenience for my snacks. I don't want to have to actually make my snacks. They call it pop and cooking, but the only thing I'm be popping this thing is into the trash can later on. <laughs> 
Alright, I think I need to wash this down. So how about some ramen candy? Get it? Because, you know, it's like the, the drink, but in uh, candy form. You need to just stop. Okay, let's try it. Oh, God. This smells so bad. I can already tell I'm not going to like this. It's hard. I don't like hard things. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> nope. I'm done. I know where this is going. <laughs> And you know, actually it's kind of weird because there are a lot of soda inspired candies. I don't know what it is about Japan being obsessed with like soda or drink inspired candies, but I also have like this yogurt base too. And I'm gonna have to try this one too. <laughs> All right, okay. Doesn't smell like anything. It's clear and colorless like my soul. Oh, ah! um, did I just lose a tooth? Hold on. Are you tired of eating basic, boring foods from your local Walmart? Do you wish you could be eating delicious and yummy snacks like the ones your favorite anime wife was enjoying? Well, now you can thanks to today's sponsor, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Tokyo Treat is a Japanese monthly subscription box that curates Japanese snacks, candy, and soda based on a particular theme every month. And they really stuffed these boxes. Like when I got them in the mail, I had to be careful because they were kind of heavy. They'll also send you a little booklet recapping what kind of snacks you got and give you little bits of knowledge about Japanese culture. So now you can enjoy all your favorite Japanese goodies from the comfort of your own home, which is a lot cheaper than buying a plane ticket right now. You can use code MARIYUME to claim some free extra snacks or items with your first Tokyo Treat order. But wait, there's more. You can also get a Sakura Ko box and experience legit traditional Japanese goodies. That's right. Sakura Ko's subscription box features authentic Japanese snacks and tea, which are made by local Japanese businesses. So not only are you getting to experience a traditional side of Japan, you can feel good knowing that you're supporting local businesses. Besides snack and tea, you also get a special Japanese tableware item. So if you want to experience authentic Japanese tea at your home, then you can also use code MARIYUME to claim some free extra snacks or items with your first Sakura Co order. This month's theme is related to the spring season, which if you're a true weeb, you would know that means cherry blossom season. So the boxes I got were like a little taste of what's left of the Sakura season in Japan. And oh boy, did time Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co spoil me. <sighs> they spoiled us, Mari. Oh, yeah, uh, yes, that's right. These boxes had enough samples for both of us to try. So if you have like a friend, a family member, or a significant other, then you can enjoy some Japanese goodies together because everything always tastes better with a friend, you know? Some of my favorite items from Tokyo Treats box this month were the mini cherry mochi, the piccolo sakura matcha, and the gana matcha truffles. Oh, and I also loved the Kobe sparkling apple juice. Some of my personal favorites were from the Sakura Co box, which let me experience Sakura Ame, sweet potato, and this Ichigo roll. Also, I absolutely loved the glassware Sakura Co gave me because now I have a new teacup to enjoy my amazing Japanese snacks with, which was the peach hibiscus tea, by the way. You know, the best kind of tea. Also, I would have never imagined that banana caramel Kit Kats would not only exist, but they taste amazing. Like, I would put these at an S tier because of how good they were. And I got a giant bag of them, so I had my fill of Kit Kat cravings. Thank you so much to Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co for sponsoring this video. I really miss living in Japan, but since I'm stuck here in the dream realm with this stinky cat, these subscription boxes have been the next best thing. Mari, which snacks were your favorite ones? All of them? You know, it's kind of rude to talk with food in your mouth. Just hey, stop eating all the snacks and say thank you. Thank you, Tokyo Tree and Sakura Go. Hmm. All right, now let's get back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, I did not lose a tooth, but I did not enjoy that either. It is okay. We will move on. On. Next up is going to be Haichu. And the idea behind this was to create edible gum. Like literally, I hope I like them. Smells nice though. Mm, I like it when things smell good. Maybe I'll go for the pineapple. Well, the first one I picked was a mango. So I think Haichu kind of reminds me of like Starburst, you know? I guess I'll have to taste it and find out. Yep. No, I thought it'd be like Starburst. It's not. It literally reminds me of chewing gum. You know what that means. It is trash. 
Gross. You might be wondering, how am I able to eat all this food, you know, with all these different flavor profiles? And so far, well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I have a palate cleanser. It's mashed potatoes because I like mashed potatoes. It's time for something that I have been really looking forward to this entire video, and that is matcha Kit Kat. Now, matcha Kit Kats is probably one of the most popular Kit Kat flavors of all time. Like literally every Japanese snack article I read online always has matcha Kit Kats on it as a must try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know why they would straight up lie to you like this. This is, this is okay. But honestly, this is kind of mid. Now, in before you dislike, in before you dislike this video, the reason why I am saying that this is, you know, not the best Kit Kat flavor flavors because there are so many different types of Japanese Kit Kat flavors. Like there are so many. And honestly, kind of feel like the matcha Kit Kats are a little overrated. And I'm a little disappointed because I was really looking forward to that. If uh, you're ever curious about my profile taste for Kit Kats, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll do just an entire tier list dedicated to the Japanese Kit Kat flavors. <laughs> oh, right. I can't believe I have most of this filled out and I haven't found my own S tier snack yet. That's crazy. Well, our next snack is gonna be Melty Blend. This chocolate is actually kind of interesting. So the idea behind this type of chocolate is that they wanted to create a chocolate that represented the tranquility of winter and the cubes are meant to be as smooth as snow. And I don't really understand what that means. So I guess I'm gonna have to just uh, try it and figure out what snow it feels like. The cubes feel kind of solid. It, honestly, they kind of look like those, you know, when you go to make soup and stuff and you have those little sodium cubes or maybe the curry blocks or something. Let's see what it tastes like. You know how I said it's surprising that I don't have an S ranked item? Well, guess freaking what? This is my first S tier. This is literally the best that I've had so far. The bar has been set. So I guess we'll have to see how the rest of the chocolates and candies and goodies all compare. Our next contestant is going to be bum -ba -dum, Calvary potato chips, but this one is pizza. Apparently Calvary is like the biggest like chip brand over in Japan. And they're really well known for like these crazy wacky like flavors such as the, the pizza potato chips. So I decided to get this one instead of the normal potato chip because this is kind of like what they're really well known for. So yeah. If I could freaking open it! Come on back, don't bully me. I'm a very sick girl. Hey, okay, I got it. Now, like any normal cat girl would ever do, I have to inspect the smell. Mm. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Um, I don't know what Calbury is doing with these potato chips, but I like it. I think this is a comfort snack. I was very, very pleased with that. That tastes nice, actually. All right, wasabi peas. Now, these are basically created by roasting green peas, and then you coat them in like a layer of wasabi flavored tempura, and then you roast them again until they're crunchy. And this is a very popular snack in Japan to have while drinking beer. I used to have a lot of uh, interesting adventures at the bars in Japan. And yeah, this was my other go-to snack. And it was kind of funny because I told a friend when I was, Okay, I'll be honest. She was my girlfriend. I told my girlfriend in Japan. And yes, I did have a girlfriend in Japan. We held hands, okay? Leave me alone. So ask me, oh, like what kind of snacks do you like to eat in America? I mean, in the Dream America, in Dramica. I told her that I really liked edamame and I just kind of liked wasabi peas and all that. And, they're like, and she was like, uh, you know that's for like old man kind of snack? And I was like, oh, well, I am an old man. And <laughs> She's like, yeah, you kind of are actually. And I was like, oh, thanks. You've only crushed my ego and the rest of my viewership. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Danny. Just as good as I remember. Oh, hi. Yeah, they are. Let's go. They are. Mm, mm, mm. That is a solid S tier snack. Let's go. I love my old man snacks. Okay, now that we're on like a little temporary kick, Let's go to the other one, which is the tempera seaweed. Apparently this is really popular. Basically it's roasted seaweed and it's a great source of fiber. Ooh, it smells like the sea. What the heck? I think I got scammed. There's like barely anything in here. There's literally nothing in this bag. What the heck? This is literally what they Bruh. gave me. <sighs> Fine, it better be worth it or I'm be mad. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I made my decision. You know, 
This is a pretty good snack. I really liked it, okay? And I was gonna give it an A tier, but because I got scammed, I'm gonna have to bump it down a little bit to the underrated tier because I didn't like getting scammed, okay? I'm the one that's supposed to do the scamming. Me! I want more crunchy. We're gonna try this. Caramucho. And this is like another competitor to Calbee. It's apparently supposed to be the number one spicy snack brand in Japan. So, oh, this is like spicy. And it says, hey, what's up? Another long day? Just try our yummy spicy caramucho and say hi. Hi. All right, let's see what this is. It's supposed to be the best spicy ever. And it's easy to open. It doesn't smell spicy. Hmm. Is it really that spicy? It doesn't smell it. I've had my fair share of spicy stuff and usually it smells spicy. And, you know, I'm kind of skeptical. Mm. It's good, but I guess I, I don't really taste the spice. I'm not going hi. So unfortunately, I can't mark you as a hi tier because I don't really think it was that spicy. Uh-oh. I think I spoke too soon. Okay, apparently it actually starts to affect you after you've eaten it for like a few minutes. And now it's starting to get spicy. Hi. Okay, I think I'm done with the crunchies now because I'm ready to move on to a different thing. All right, now here comes my most expertized special leads part of this video. We're getting into the chocolate tears now. We've already set the bar pretty high on Melty Blend up there, okay? But I still got more chocolate to try, such as Barbon a four. I think I butchered the name. Okay, Barbon Alfort is kind of interesting because it's not necessarily like chocolate chocolate. It's kind of in that same realm of the biscuit type of coated chocolate thingies. But it's different because it's got a little boat on it. Ooh, and oh my gosh, they're literally just little tiny biscuits just coated on top of a block of chocolate. It's kind of like a little float. Like a, like a, a boaty, buoy, buoy, bobby, same thing. Ow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The normal milk chocolate one is pretty underrated. It's actually quite good. I, I really enjoyed that one. Now let's try some actual chocolate chocolate. <coughs> Meiji's milk chocolate. So I just decided to get milk chocolate because I feel like at this point, if you can't even make milk chocolate, then you shouldn't be making chocolate products at all. Oh, you know what I really like about Meiji is that they have these like perfectly breakable squares. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. This is like your standard chocolate bar, I think. And it's it's on par with, with Bourbon. Yeah, they're on par with each other in the terms of like the standard of how chocolate should taste. And it can either be better or worse than that. But you leave us to our last and final product we're gonna try today. Green tea ice cream. Get it when I go to all you can eat cream barbecue or sushi and stuff. So I'm very familiar with them. That's why I wanted to save it for last. But I've never had this brand. This brand, it says here, green tea is believed to have tremendous health benefits. Although I don't think there's a lot of health benefits when you're a key ingredient and the main one is milk, cream, sugar, corn syrup, and milk, whey, and then matcha is like in the middle of it. It, and then next to a bunch of like words that I can't even pronounce. So yeah, but yeah, keep up with that copium, sure. Why don't you? All right, let's see what this is like. <laughs> it tastes exactly like how I remember it. it. Is God smack s tier? This is something I can eat all the time. And well. That's it. This is the entire tier list. What do you think? Are my taste buds immaculate? Of course they are. That's why you stayed here all the way to the end of the video just to see.